Hey everybody, thanks for watching A Guy Doing Stuff. I'm Adam and today I'm going to be installing the truss rod. When you put steel strings on a guitar, it creates a lot of tension, which over time can put a lot of stress on the neck. You have to carve it down really narrow, so a solution to this stress is to install a truss rod to add some strength. This is a double action truss rod. It's pretty much just a little steel rod with another threaded rod connected to it by these welded nuts right here and here. You can adjust it with an Allen wrench to give it tension in either direction. When you're building the guitar, you just make it straight, cut a slot in the neck, glue it down into the slot, and then glue the fingerboard over it. The rod is 14 and a half inches long, so I'm gonna cut my slot to about right here. So just this little adjustment nut sticks out into the body of the guitar. This way I can adjust the tension of the neck in the future if it ever gets off. I cut the slot on the router table with a quarter inch straight cut bit. I adjust the fence so it cuts down the middle of the neck and take an eighth inch deep pass. The slot has to be about three eighths of an inch deep. That's kind of a lot of material to take off all at once. So I take three passes, increasing the depth each time until I get to the depth that I want. Before the last pass, I'm going to use a piece of scrap wood to test to make sure the depth is right. So the slot is good now. I filed the truss rod down at an angle like this, just a little bit on the end because it was going to stick up where the peg head angled down. I also filed right here and here on the back of the truss rod um, because I'm going to be gluing it down at those two spots and a uh, rough surface glues a little bit better than the smooth surface. I'm using this JB Weld two-part epoxy to glue the rod down, and I'm using this normal household silicone caulking too to reduce the chance of the truss rod vibrating in the slot. I mix the epoxy, put just a little tiny bit on these two parts, put about a six inch line of caulking in the middle of the slot, then press the rod in. You don't really want to force it, but it should be a really tight fit, so sometimes it helps to tap it in with a screwdriver to get it to bottom out in the slot. All right, that actually went pretty well. Um, in my next video, I'm gonna start doing some stuff on the peg head. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to WorkSharp Tools for sponsoring this series, and don't forget to hit that little red subscribe button so you can stay up to date on my videos.